PowerShell's validate set validation attribute allows you to specify a collection of values which your parameters or variables will accept. In this example function, I'm using the validate set attribute within square brackets to define a collection of integers which my volume parameter will accept. This collection is defined within parentheses. When I run this function, specifying an integer that is within my valid set, the function completes successfully. If, however, I specify an integer that isn't part of that set of valid values, I get an error, helpfully reminding me which values are in that set of valid values. It's also possible to use this attribute outside of functions to validate the values being provided to a variable. To do that, you define the validate set attribute within square brackets, and then within parentheses, you define your set of valid values, in this case, the strings Android and iPhone. Then you define the name of your variable, in this case, phone, and then you can assign a value to it. In this example, we're doing that via read host to ask for input at the console. When I run this, if I type Android, it completes successfully without error. If, however, I run this and tell a lie and say that I'm using a Windows phone, I get an error because that value isn't in my set of valid values. Notice, however, that the error message here isn't as user-friendly as the one that you get when you do this via a function because I'm not being told what the valid set actually is. That's been the validate set attribute. Thank you for watching.